Just do something to tell you who I am, you know? Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. And today, hey look, you see my face in this video. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better and I don't mind the light so much in my face. So I got this low angle here. We're going to just record this. I just recorded a Venom episode and so I wanted to just just power through these because uh, we have some figures to open up that I've been hanging on to for a while and I wanted to show them off to you guys and normally we would open the McFarlane stuff in live streams um, but uh, but I know a lot of you guys like closer angles and want to see you know some of the, the figures in action and stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at four figures here and I'm gonna try to go through these as very quickly as possible so as I'm showing them off in the box I'm gonna have some footage uh, you know of close-ups of them uh, in the box and out of the box you know and in action and stuff so first up we have is a gorilla Grod. Uh, this figure I was so excited about because this is based on the Injustice version, the Injustice 2 video game version. Um, so he'll go really nicely with my Flash, who's also from Injustice 2. But he's, uh, you know, just a cool character I didn't think was going to get made. And that's one of the things I like about the McFarlane stuff is that even though they're doing a little too much Batman, I know that's not exactly his fault. I'm sure that's a, a DC and Warner Brothers thing because they tend to pump out a lot more Batman content than they do most of the other DC universe. Uh, for example, I think with Lego this year, it's not only the 20th anniversary, I think it's the 20th anniversary or maybe 15th anniversary. Yeah, I think it's 15th anniversary of Lego making Batman stuff. So they're going to do some cool Batman sets, I think, later this year. I, I think. That's the rumor, anyway. Uh, but as far as I know, they have no DC sets planned for this year. And this year's also the 10th anniversary of LEGO making DC stuff. And yet, I think nothing is planned, as far as I know. So maybe that'll change, because, you know, plans you know, change all the time. And with COVID and all that stuff wrapping up, hopefully we'll see more and more stuff coming out. But I feel like a lot of times... Batman gets more love than other DC characters, so it's always nice to get uh, stuff that is not Batman related, and that's who we have here with Gorilla Grodd. So I love this character, and uh, I really like the figure. He's in his gold armor. He looks fantastic. Uh, but as some of you know, there is a limited edition version of this one out there of Gorilla Grodd. There is a platinum edition. Um, so the platinum edition is the same figure. Uh, same points of articulation, same everything, except the armor, instead of it being gold, it's actually silver. And wouldn't you know, I own that too. Uh, I got very lucky and found this recently at a Target and uh, and had to buy it. Uh, you know, I was on the phone with my brother. My brother lives in South Carolina and he likes to, uh, you know, find figures that I can't find. And then he likes to rub it in my face and say, hey, I found this Halo guy you're looking for. Or I found this DC figure you're looking for. Um, I'll get it for you. You can pay me back or not pay me back sometimes. And he's like, and I'll just send it to you because he just likes to gloat and say like, hey, I, I got a character that you can't find. And it's true because down here, you know, I work, you know, and I have, you know, other things I got to do with my life, uh, but I do like collecting these DC figures. And in fact, I'm cutting, I cut back on buying comics and a bunch of other things so that I can, you know, only collect these. Like I'm really loving the McFarland DC stuff. They're fantastic. Um, but I wasn't really interested in getting the silver version until um, I saw it in person. And then I was like, okay, what, there's just, I never find character. I didn't find this. My brother did. And then I had, he even got mad. He goes, you one up to me, dude. I got the one character you know, ne I never, still have never seen this in person. But somehow the other day, I saw the silver one, uh, but not the gold one. Uh, how crazy is that? So I was like, all right, I found it. My brother's like, great, you had to one up me. So he's like, the one time I, you know, one of the recent times I find a character you don't have. And you had to go find the even rarer version. So I so I have both versions, uh, but you see the gold figure in action there. I'm probably going to keep the silver one in the box for a little bit, but I'll probably open them eventually. Some people are saying, oh, you can sell it and flip it and make a lot of money, but that's not why I collect. I just want things I want to make my collection look cool, and that, that's how I am. And the fact that I only had to spend $20 for this and not buy it online, which I never would have. If someone was like, hey, I'll sell you one for 60 bucks or 80 bucks, I would have said, no, I don't need it that badly. But when I saw it for a regular price, I, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. So I got two grods here, which is awesome. And then some other characters we're going to look at. Uh, all of these are villains. I was hoping to do all of them that weren't Batman related, but this one is kind of Batman related. Uh, this is another rare figure, a gold version of the Flash of Earth negative 52. Um, this character is really neat. It's from the Death Metal storyline, and I'll have some cutaways and stuff too of close-ups as I'm talking about this figure, obviously, because I'm definitely going to open this one. Um, in the Metal storyline, there are seven or uh, six or seven evil Batmen from different worlds, from the uh, the negative side of the multiverse, and where everything has gone wrong and all everything down there is evil apparently, and that's where this Flash comes from. 
He's, I like that he's gold because it reminds me of Reverse Flash. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to get it because I was like, oh, maybe I can just pretend he's a Reverse Flash. But he does have a broken Batman symbol on his chest and it's split apart by a lightning bolt, which I think is really cool because that's representing the Flash. And this character is also known as the Red Death. Um, so this one is uh, Red Death, who is a Flash from another universe that Batman transferred his consciousness uh, after he'd gone evil and gone crazy, transferred his consciousness into Barry's body and took control. So Barry's still in there, way in the back of his mind, uh, but he's trapped. And this Batman has taken over his body and is using Barry's power, uh, you know, Barry's powers for evil. Uh, so I really like that. And there's great moments in it. I don't want to spoil DC Metal for you if you haven't read it. Uh, but Dark Knight's Metal, go pick it up. And Death Metal, I think, came out recently. I didn't like that one as much, but it still had a few moments in it that I did like. Um, but this, uh, you know, Dark Knight's Metal, I, I actually did like that story. And I thought it was fun. And so uh, the, the conclusion of the Red Death storyline is really neat. Right? It's, and it's a, it's a good Barry Allen moment. Uh, and it's also a good moment for the good guys. <laughs> so yeah, so I had to get the gold one because I was like, yeah, I can pass it off as like a, an, a reverse flash type uh, on my shelf. Uh, but uh, but I know it's really Red Death in, in gold. Um, and then the last character is one of my favorites as well. And that is Bizarro. Uh, Bizarro is such a cool character. I'm a big fan of Bizarro and Superman comics in general. But this character is really neat. And I've always wanted to see a version of him in live action like where they have a budget you know we've seen them in cartoons and we've seen versions of evil superman before in tv and stuff like that and even in smallville and, and stuff but uh i think it was smallville had one but uh but it's not like true bizarro you know to some degree um you know but there's been many different takes on bizarro there's been versions where he's from another planet where he's actually from a square planet instead of earth being a round planet he's from the bizarro world which is square um there's been versions where he's been cloned from superman by lex luther um and there's been like the lego version which i really loved where superman found the square planet and gave it to bizarro to become his new home um and they also did that in the animated series too and bizarro like created he stacked rocks and drew faces on them and pretended they were people and just found a home there, you know, with uh, with all these stacked rocks and pretending they were civilians for him to rescue and stuff. So there's a real innocence to Bizarro at times, which I really like, um, uh, but but hidden deep down under this giant uh, inverted version of Superman, who's, you know, kind of this he's strong and he doesn't know how to control his strength and he doesn't have the morals or understanding that uh, you know most humans do so he lashes out a lot and he, he you know punches with the force of Superman and that can be very dangerous but also know that there's some, you don't want to just punch him back you there there's a chance you know some in some versions you want to like connect with them and reach out to them and try to get them to stop being you know so you know smashing everything up uh, but that's like more of the cartoon versions a lot of the live action versions that they've attempted to do are versions of it in the comics that they've done they tend to make them a little bit more brutal and uh, and more of a, a, a monster like a frankenstein's monster um, but i always like that approach too there's actually a really good version of them in the red hood series called red hood and the outlaws where it's uh you know red hood and artemis teaming up with a bizarro and it's a lot of fun so yeah great history for these characters um i'm a big fan of all of them red death is a newer character out of all these he's the newest uh character of this bunch uh, a lot of these characters grod and bizarro go back to the silver age um and go you know some of them even go back to the golden age but uh but red death is definitely a more modern character but i thought this was a great uh you know set to show off to you guys so i had the close-ups and all that stuff so you could see them in action and like i said i'll probably keep this in a box for a little bit longer but eventually i'm probably gonna open it up too because it's just too awesome uh so let me know what you think of these characters do you have any of these yourself um i do have one more character that's in the box another character that my brother couldn't find but of all people my mom did uh which is jason todd the red hood with the helmet on in a single pack uh, because there is a two pack of him with nightwing but i didn't want the two pack and my mom actually found the single pack jason um, and she sent that to me for my birthday so i will open that up in one of our next videos it'll probably be a few episodes from now um, but that'll be, you know, I'll do, I'll, I'll probably do something different than this with that video. So I hope you guys like that when it comes up. But for now, let me know what you think of these four, uh, you know, figures and these three characters down in the comments below. And we'll continue our conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all in the future. Peace.